here we are and today we would see about sequence diagram okay then uh, we would come to our our process or analyst view and create our sequence diagram as soon as you have done that you would get all the elements required to create a sequence diagram then basically we have objects this would be object 1 object 2 then this uh, if uh, we, we can have relations such as this way then we can have something like this way so basically we can type here message and this would be message reply so even we can have conditions here like such as um, for if this is an ATM system so valid pin and if invalid uh, comes back to the user and if it is valid then it will get processed further then uh, this object 2 is also said to be lifeline because it, it is dependent on this object 1 then there is also something called as guard that we can create here uh, such as we can give condition here such as uh, uh, you know in bank system deposit is greater than 0 then only then only uh, give credit to that person so this is how we can do and that was all for sequence diagram